I'm here to um, advocate that the drinking age should be lowered to 18. As of today, there are plenty of people who ignore this law without consequence. According to the National Institute of Health and um, <coughs> Statistics, there's a large number of people who drink underage. But there's, an, there's another proportion that the Institute states, it's called binge drinking. Binge drinking is, in, is the greater problem here. Uh, as the law stated earlier, um, the 21 and under law was designed to reduce drinking and driving deaths. It wasn't designed to reduce deaths overall. Because of this attitude of rebellion and um, not having this forbidden fruit, the statistics over time have showed that drinking uh, is still prevalent. According to the National Institute, there's 11% of 8th graders are heavy drinkers, 21% of 10th graders are heavy drinkers, 27% of 12th graders are heavy drinkers, and 40% of college students are heavy drinkers. Um, Like I said before, heavy drinking is the greater problem here. Um, the situation in New Zealand that my my opponent has in New Zealand that my opponent has stated, where they lowered the drinking age, yes, uh, within a small time frame that the lake was first reduced, a large number of uh, people drank underneath the age. But as time went on, uh, the number of binge drinkers and heavy drinkers was reduced, according to. Okay. According to the um, Hospitality Association of New Zealand, binge drinking before the law was uh, at 34% for young drinkers. Immediately after the law was passed, it was 44%. But uh, uh, in 2003, it, it's been reduced to 23%. So there was a short-term effect of increased drinking because people who couldn't get the alcohol finally were able to get the alcohol. And so they were like, yeah, I want to go drink, and went crazy with it. But over time, when you allow this, the people to drink and have a, a safe area of responsible drinking where it can be monitored and they can get safe help, they no longer feel the need to drink as much as they can whenever they can. Um, this sh just shows that if we lower the drinking age, in the long term, it, it will reduce the overall effects of alcohol abuse. Um, many of the statistics involved in reducing the drinking age um, and the fatal car crashes, um, they can't directly be said over the years that only the drinking age has reduced um, drinking and driving statistics. There are many other things that have influenced car safety, such as airbags and seatbelts, and um, higher, more uh, stringent penalties for those who drink and drive, not just for those who are underage drinking and driving. So the overall picture of drinking and driving has been reduced, which shows that the statistics over the years can not only be influenced by the law, there are many other factors that could possibly done it. Um.